Hi there, and welcome back to yet another great and super long-awaited episode of Mind Power 009. My name is Bryce Tomlinson, and today we're going to unbox or unpackage the 30 Days Lost in Space package from Inventor.io. I'm going to open up this package for the first time. I have never looked at it. I wanted it to be authentic. I've had this thing sitting here for a little over a week, and I wanted to make sure that we were opening it up together. Here it is. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. So here's our 30 days lost in space package, which I have never opened. It is a sci-fi adventure kit where supposedly you are stranded in outer space with your spaceship that is broken down and uh, they present to you different kinds of uh, tasks that you have to do with this electronics kit. Some of it involves electronics, some of it involves coding. So we're gonna open this box for the first time and uh, it says right here, ready to start your training? That's where we're gonna go, the inventor.io website. We're not gonna do that today. Inside the kit, we're supposed to have the hero board, a breadboard, a rotary encoder, which is a little knob, a photo resistor, 10 LEDs, one RGB LED, 10 100 kilo ohm resistors, and 10 10 kilo ohm resistors, 10 1 kilo ohm resistor, 10 220 ohm resistors, one 128 by 64 OLED display, a seven segment display, passive buzzer, a dip switch, 16 button keypad, a USB data cable, and you have uh, one male to male wire, wire bundle and one female to male wire bundle. We're gonna open it up and just have a look. We have the hero board with what appears to be some, some header pins. We have our hero board. Put that back in the static bag because that would be the smart thing to do. That's what smart people do. We put our electronics back in the static bag. And we have a pack of resistors here. We have our 16 button panel, which also has a header on it. Headers on the back. Fancy, fancy solder joints on the back. What do we have here? Ah, that is one of the displays here. We're gonna learn more about this as we go along. So we've got a fancy dancy USB A to B cable here. We have a segmented LED display, which is gonna be for like clocks or timers. It's got some chips on the back of it. Here's our rotary encoder, also known as a knob. It's a multi-position switch or encoder. Don't know if it's exactly a spinner or not. Feels like a spinner because it seems to spin around. All right, so here is our wire bundles here. So we've got one package here that is male to female and another package that is male to male. We've got our breadboard here, which I'm not gonna open up because we can plainly see it. This is where we're gonna be doing a lot of our wiring up and circuitry. We have a bag of LEDs and uh, that should be a little passive tweeter. Let's pull that out and get a look at it. Here's our speaker. Good, good, good. A whole bunch of LEDs in here. One of them is an RGB LED. I think it's that clear one. That's our slip of paper that's got our itemized list on it. This kit kind of reminds me of when I was a kid and we used to get these uh, 101 or 1001 project kits from Radio Shack. And this seems like today's version of this. The hero board is supposed to be a variation of the Arduino. And so we're going to be learning some Arduino stuff. My goal with this is I'm thinking I may be able to garner some new skills to help me through the future as I'm getting older. Anyway, that's my goal. What would you do with a kit like this? Leave it in the comments down below. Please do like and subscribe. I know you guys are already doing that. God bless you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you again next time right here on Mind Power. Bye-bye.